Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com and I'm currently sailing on board the beautiful newly amplified Oasis of the Sea. She looks incredible and quite a few of the rooms, especially the suites, have gotten some upgrades as well and I'd love to show them to you. So right now I am in an owner suite, one bedroom. As soon as you walk in here, you'll notice that it's a really, really big room. So that's kind of the first thing. It's well over 500 square feet and it's a great room for a family traveling or also maybe if you have other friends and family that are throughout the ship and you wanna host a party in here. Great room for that. As soon as you walk in on the right hand side here, you're gonna have the temperature controls and the lights and let's head into the bathroom. All right, so one thing that I immediately see that I love is that it has a stand-up shower and a tub. I usually don't fit in the tubs as a shower because when I step up there, I'm too tall. So right when you come in, you've got this, uh, the toilet and the bidet, as you would expect in a suite, and you've got this shower with a glass shower door here. So you notice that it does have the step here. You can put your foot up if you needed to shave your legs. Um, you just have the one shower wand in here. I'm 6'6", just to give you kind of a perspective. I fit pretty well in here. I'm not going to lie. All right. So let's head over here. Okay. So you've got a full jacuzzi bathtub. You're going to have the fully upgraded L'Occitane bath amenities, and you have the tub as well as the shower wand here. Over here, you have a double uh, vanity. I really, really love having a double vanity on a cruise. Uh, my wife and I have one at home and it's really nice. So right here, you do have some storage. I love about this room, you have a ton of storage in the bathroom to put things away completely so it's not out. Down below, you're gonna have your trash there, but more storage back behind. Um, go. You also have storage here. These nice little pop out handles um, and a little more storage underneath here as well. Right, and this great uh, marble countertop as well. Okay, so now let's head into the dining room and where you're gonna find the rest of the storage. So one thing that you wanna know is that if you have somebody staying in this part of the room, in uh, the, the, the living room area, they're gonna need storage. So here you've got these great uh, handles that pop out once again. You have these really nice, soft, comfy, comfy Royal Caribbean robes. You've got hanging storage, pop that down for some more, and then you got storage up top and down below. Okay. And then over here as well, a ton more hanging storage. And then over there, you're gonna have a safe. It is a full laptop size safe. I really appreciate that. And then more storage on the side there. All right, we're gonna continue working our way around here. You've got, go, you've got more storage in here that can be put away completely. All of these drawers open up, okay? Underneath here, you're gonna have your mini fridge. Once again, more storage here more storage underneath, you get the idea, more storage all the way down here, and then storage up here as well. On the countertop, you're gonna have a European plug. Um, you also have a Mr. Coffee Maker and a tea kettle if you'd like, and just ask for more, and they're happy to replenish those for you. What you'll notice here is that you have a full dining room table. You can definitely eat in the room here. It's a really cool thing to do. And once again, if you're hosting some friends over, that's a nice space to have. So now I'm moving into the main living room area, a very large plush couch. You see that they reupholstered all of this during the amplification and uh, it tells. It's in really, really beautiful shape. You've got a nice coffee table here with some storage underneath. And then you have two more large chairs there and then a nice uh, recline chair with an ottoman to put your feet up as well. So now you've got the big TV. It, it is a really, really big TV, especially for a cruise ship. Okay. And then over here, you're gonna have more storage underneath and even more storage there. You've got the remote here. You can use the TV to check your bill, um, to uh, actually to, to check on room service, to do all kinds of things through that if it's something that you're interested in. Now, please follow me into the master bedroom. So they call this a one bedroom, but I did want to point out that you've got these curtains here, but it's not a door. And then also up top here, I don't know if you can take it over to the other side, but you can see that there's a little bit of a pass through here. So it's not gonna be completely private for you. Um, if that's something that's important, make sure that you get one of the room categories that has a door that shuts completely. Okay, so over here, you're gonna have a reading lamp. Um, you've got your light switches there, a little bit of storage on the side of the bed. One thing I will point out is there aren't any plugs, but uh, once again, the ship is older. She's been totally redone, but you can tell with some of those things, those are really hard to, uh, to add in and update. Okay, over here you have the exact storage on the opposite side, lights, and then over here you have the full light controls where you can click day, evening, late, and it does different uh, ambient lighting for you. Over here is where you're gonna have the, uh, the main vanity area. You've got storage on both sides that are identical. Down here you've got more storage as well. Um, but keep in mind that if you are staying in this room, you're gonna use the hang-up space actually in, uh, you know, in the living room area. 
Over here, you're gonna have a Euro plug and two US plugs. I always bring extra converters and adapters with me on a uh, cruise because that way I can use all the plugs in the room if I need to. Got this great backlit mirror here. Little bit more storage on both sides of the mirror as well right there. And then down here, final bits of storage there as well. All right, so now let's head out to the extra large balcony. It's almost 250 square feet. And of course, this is a sky level suite. So you're gonna get the suite lounge and all of those things as well. And one of the things that I love is you can work with your concierge to maybe set up a meal on the, the patio here. So you'll see that you have these two recliners here, um, table over here. And then on the other side, you've got a full dining room table where you can accommodate four. Perfect for hanging out, maybe having some friends over as you are sailing away. So whenever you're ready to book this incredible suite on board the Oasis of the Seas or any suite in the Royal Fleet, reach out to Hard Travel. We are your suite experts. We have an amazing relationship with Royal Caribbean, and we know that we can help you get the absolute most value out of your Royal Caribbean vacation.